Today we're having a look at the Kolaris XT21X Pro, rated at 4,400 lumens and a range of 336 meters. It has a Cree XHB 70.2 LED in cool white. I measured around 6,300 Kelvin. Nice textured reflector and this puts out a very clean beam. You've just got the normal uh, tint shift that you get from the Cree XHP uh, domed LEDs. There's nothing really, really you can do to get rid of it too much. Uh, nice uh, tack bezel, uh, grey stainless steel, which is good, does add to the look. Uh, I like the design of the head, uh, you've got some fins. Uh, side switch with battery status indicator. And then you've got uh, USB Type-C charging with C to C support that works well. Uh, smooth anodizing on this, and the but the it's not slippery. The uh, knurling uh, provides sufficient, um, quite good grip on this. Uh, this uh, pocket clip is very stiff. I don't know if that's an issue or not. Uh, I haven't really uh, used it for this model. Uh, so you, uh, two lanyard attachments on the tail cap and then you've got uh, two dual tail switches and they have very nice uh, feel to them. Yeah, no issues. So uh, very good build quality, good design, takes a 121700 battery. Uh, it, uh, it comes bundled with a protected battery um, but it will take like an unprotected flat top. Uh, without any issues which is good not, not a proprietary battery like some of the night cores and uh, like Olight um, so that uh, that is great uh, the, yeah there's no real issues that I have with this light uh, it's just um, it's just a great light uh, I did fall short a bit of the lumens and I don't really like how it starts stepping down immediately from turn on I would like it if it held that level for a little while. Uh, the I don't like uh, the timers that are used uh, that step down the output. I'd far rather it um, have like a, a limit uh, only, like a temperature limit only before it steps down because if you use it in cooler temperatures you don't have the benefit of it lasting a bit longer. Uh, but it's not a massive, like a, a negative really it's just uh, something that Kolaris likes to do uh, you can easily reset the timers uh, by just turning it off and on or cycling to that level uh, the, the only real thing that I find a bit unusual for this light uh, is the UI um, it works quite well but there are a few things that I that it does that I I think is a bit confusing yeah, so I'll just go over the UI uh, the best I can. I uh, just don't use a light for that long. Uh, and I get a bit confused sometimes going over the UI. It takes a, a bit. Uh, so the these are two. Like it's got a tactical mode and an outdoor mode that you can switch to. Uh, so these two uh, have momentary. Uh, so that's momentary turbo. I hold it and a full press turns it on to constant on and then you've got a momentary strobe and if you hold it down for three seconds or more and release it stays on one click turns it off if you've activated strobe and this from the switch being on uh, one tap will switch it back to turbo from the strobe so while it's on a uh, single click will cycle the levels from turbo down to moonlight And then you've got, so the the uh, side switch is always in the tactical setting. Uh, changing to the outdoor UI uh, doesn't affect the side switch. So one press on and that turns on to your memorized mode. Uh, hold will turn it off. Uh, hold from off gets to moonlight. Uh, and then one press cycles down from turbo to moonlight. Double press, strobe, double press again, gets to SOS. And then, yeah, if you just do one press from SOS to strobe, it just turns off. Uh, so the strange thing about this 
is that if you keep in mind like the, the if you activate it from the uh, rear main switch it will cycle from turbo down to moonlight but if you activate it from the side switch and now you hit the tail switch it will now cycle in the opposite direction so from moonlight up to turbo now and then the side switch cycles down the levels so I just I find that would be probably pretty confusing for just the average person to get used to uh, it's not uh, mentioned that it's to do that in the manual so it could very well be a bug in the UI and then from any level of the side switch if you click the main switch you get uh, straight to turbo uh, to change to the uh, outdoor setting you hold down this mode switch until the side switch blinks red and then you hit the main switch here and that turns it on over to uh, tactical and outdoor UI or from the tactical to the outdoor UI or, or back uh, and then and then in this outdoor setting for the tail switch it will just increase from moonlight up to turbo uh, hold the mode switch uh, from off gets you straight to moonlight every time Yeah, so the, and then the, the side switch doesn't change its operation, it's always in the outdoor uh, outdoor setting. So yeah, that's uh, that's the only issue that I have with it. I feel that uh, it should always cycle in one direction for both switches. Just makes it uh, really simple, otherwise a little bit confusing, um, even for myself. But that's what I think of the lights, and thanks for watching guys.